I'm Tom Poster. I'm hugely looking forward to playing the Grieg Piano Concerto with the Halle Orchestra. is a composer whose music I've always felt very deeply in my heart. There, there are some composers you have to really work at to understand the language. With Grieg, it, it, it speaks so directly to me. Um, you know, he didn't write that many big pieces. A lot of the pieces are miniatures. Um, so I've played some of the lyric pieces, which are beautiful little tiny tone poems for, for piano. But this is maybe for a lot of people his, his real masterpiece on the, on the larger scale. Um, so it's amazing to be able to take this language, you know, he, there are certain elements of his language which link all his music, um, but to really bring it in this very um, sort of large-scale extrovert form of the concerto, um, it, it's a very, very special and personal piece for me. My most extreme Greek concerto experience was when I got a call. Um, I think I'd just flown back from a concert in Belfast and it was about 4.30 in the afternoon. And I got a call from a friend of mine saying, um, I have to pull out um, of a performance of the Greek piano concerto this evening in three hours time. Um, could you possibly take it over? And of course the rehearsal had already happened. So I, I had to dash across London in a taxi and I was, in fact, it might even been less than three hours between the phone call and, and going on stage. At any rate, I mean, luckily I'd played the Grieg maybe a couple of weeks before, so it was very much in the, in the heart and in the fingers. Um, but it was, it, it was quite, a, <laughs> quite an experience walking on and playing with a conductor and orchestra. I, 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 well, the conductor I hadn't met, the orchestra I hadn't met, no rehearsal. Um, but it, it was amazingly exhilarating and somehow with those jump-ins you don't have the chance to get nervous so it was actually a, a wonderful thing to do. You're always hoping that in the moment on stage, all you're really thinking about um, is conveying the music as, as directly and honestly as possible. Um, of course, adrenaline plays a part, and of course, there are all sorts of unexpected things that can happen in a performance, and the mind does realistically um, flip between different states of consciousness. But there are those wonderful moments when you're just in the zone and sort of feel that Grieg is just flowing through you, and that, that's what we're really aiming for.